Hello, second grade. It's Miss Wolf. How are we doing? We are week four. Can you believe it? Halfway. About halfway. Okay. So we are working on graphing, right? Today, I want us to think about picture graphs. And they're actually really fun. I enjoy them. Okay, but there's a lot of things we have to know about picture graphs before you can just make one, right? You have to collect data, like yesterday, tally marks really help with that. And the cool thing about picture graphs is, let me, let me just show you on my iPad for a second, and then we'll go back on here. I think they're cool. Oh, that's what's from another, another time. Picture graph. I'm just going to Google it and show you some pictures. And you might have seen these before. You're going to be like, oh, my gosh. I think I've seen some before, right? Now, if you notice, they use a symbol or a picture, and they line them up to show you how many, right? And the important thing to know about this guy is if it will open up big. Oh, my gosh, it's taking me Okay. You notice about this guy though, look it. They use the pencil to show you how many students like a certain subject. If you look on the longest side over here, well, I can't really show you just quite like that, but if you look along the side over there, it says math, reading, science, social studies. And then on the bottom, a really, really, really important thing to know about the picture graph is look at that white pencil underneath. It's not worth one, it's worth how many? It's worth two. So one of the really important things when you're looking at a graph is to always see if there's a key. If there is a key, you have to know how many one symbol is worth. Okay, you can use, you don't have to use pencils, but you can use whatever you want for a picture graph, which makes it fun because if you look at the, some of these, it's like a bar graph, only they use pictures. Now I'm looking at some of these and they use different pictures. And I guess that's okay, but that's not what I've learned about graphs. You have to pick a symbol that's the same size so you can really see on your picture graph right? Because those fish and the turtle look much bigger than the dog, right? So your size has to be pretty, pretty much the same. So that's not the best representation of a picture graph. Um, this is, they use just simple circles, right? And they're all the same size. So that actually is a pretty good one. And usually you don't have to have numbers on the side with the picture graph if you have a key. See, so notice how they don't have a key for their red dot. They just put the numbers on the side. That's pretty interesting too, because normally you don't see that so much, but like, look at the cars. That's a good example because they're the same size. They could change the color of the car, that's cool. But look at that one, holy moly. That car, if you find the key. Now, sometimes the key's on the top, sometimes the key is on the side. It's usually the symbol with an equal sign, symbol, equal sign, and a number, okay? That equals five cars. So that looks like a really tiny graph. It really does. But look at each of those cars is worth five cars. So this one's nice because they used a sports ball. And each of those, if you look on the bottom, it got cut off as 10 students. Holy moly, right? All right, so now let's get going here. It says, how do you use a picture graph to show data? All right, well, let's see what they got going for us today, right? Let's see what they got. Mr. Martin's class made this tally chart. How many more children in his class chose sports than chose reading as their favorite hobby? Well, we're gonna look at the chart. You know, Miss Wolf, I like different colors. Okay, so it says, how many more? Remember, that's kind of like, what I told you, it's always a subtraction problem because it's the sibling that's like, oh, I have this many more than you, right? You only have that many, I have that many more. I have more, right? 
So we're going to subtract sports over reading. Okay, so reading I see is four. I like to put that on the side, okay? Sports I know is seven, right? And just like Miss Wolf said, we're gonna subtract these. So seven take away four makes three. There were three more children that chose sports than reading, right? All right, see this. A picture graph uses pictures, right? Like I was showing you on the Google, they use pictures. Now, what's the first thing we look for? The key. The key is on the bottom, right? Look at, they really write a sentence for you this time so you can't get tricked. Now watch, let me highlight it. The key is on the bottom. Do you see that? Each soccer ball, I drew like a blank like Dory, stands for one game. So one of these soccer balls is one. Well, that's simple, we just gotta count by ones. Oh my goodness gracious, that's super simple. So you know what you could do? If you're trying to solve a word problem, if there's a problem about this graph, you could always just put them on the side after you know the key, right? Put the numbers along the side. And then you can just see with your eyeball either way, whether you write the numbers or not, um, in June, look at how many um, soccer games they had. They had the most soccer games. Which month had the least soccer games? Well, you can definitely tell that April only has three, right? And that's the least. A key tells what the picture in the picture graph stands for. Look at that little cloud. Do, 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 do. See, Miss Wilson, not lying on you. I'm helping you out. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Let's see what we got going on here. Use the picture graph to answer the questions. Okay, which snack was chosen by the fewest children? Now, if you look at this one, it's about favorite snack, and they used a smiley face for their symbol, right? Because they're about they use the same size. Now, look at this. The each smiley face. Oh, they are making it super simple for you guys. Look at it stands for one child. You guys are not going to get tricked. I can tell this. Okay, so. Each smiley face stands for one child, okay? Which snack was the fewest? Well, we gotta look for the fewest smiles, right? Popcorn only had three. So I'm gonna write popcorn, which I have my stir crazy out behind me. I should make a video and show you. I love making popcorn with my stir crazy popcorn maker. Ryan likes extra butter. Actually, that's a lie. I like extra butter too. He likes how I make popcorn. I'm getting super distracted because there's popcorn in this. Okay, first of all, I can't believe there's not that many people that want popcorn for their snack. Pretzels are delicious though. I'm not gonna lie about that. How many more children chose pretzels than apples? Okay, so look at that phrase I was telling you about. You guys see what I'm talking about? How many? more children, right? It's just like that sibling that's like, oh, you have this many, I have that many too, but I have this many more than you, okay? So how many children chose pretzels than apples? So we're only worried about pretzels and apples, okay? So now look at this, you know what I like to do? Notice how they have the same, right? Same, and I like to stop when they don't have the same squares filled in. Look at that's where it stops. Do you know that they now, pretzels has, look at this. Do you see how there's two more smiles in that one and there's none in the, in the apples? I did it in yellow, do you see that? My nose is running. I, it's not because I'm sick, but I do get allergies around this time of year. But usually it's not around this time of year. It's usually it's around my birthday. I get really bad colds from sinuses and the pollen in the air. And I'm just like, oh, my goodness gracious. So anyways, that's the way it is. But how many more children chose pretzels than apples? If you can see in green, that's the same amount, right? In yellow, that's how many more? There's two more. Two more children chose pretzels over apples, right? 
And also what I told you before, it's a subtraction problem. So you would take pretzels, which is eight. Whoa, that's really sloppy, you guys. My stylus is being weird sometimes. So it's eight. And then apples is six. And we take those away and we get two. So either way, both of those strategies work. If you like to line them up like Miss Wolf and draw the ones that are more or color in and draw those lines down to see which ones really are more than the other, that works too. All right, let's do another one. Changing my color, okay? Just that's what I like to do. Okay, so we got four students on the side and the number of pencils they have. And if you notice again, oh my gosh, I really wish they would try to trick you at least. Look at the key again. One, each pencil is one. So if you like to do what Miss Wolf does, I like to write the numbers on the side sometimes. And then I don't get tricked up. Whoa, sorry. Okay. How many pencils do Elena and Brad have? Look at that word and. Do you see it right there? And is together, adding, right? So Elena and Brad, we're gonna give them orange. We're gonna highlight orange. So Elena has three, Brad has eight. So let's add them together. Eight plus three equals 11. So both of them together have 11 pencils, right? See how I did that? Okay, now how many more, there's that phrase Miss Wolf's telling us about, does Teresa have than Elena, okay? So now we're looking at Elena and Teresa. Now remember how many more, look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Oh geez, that's sloppy, you guys, I'm so sorry. Let me get better at this. Boom, 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 boom. Now look at that, you can clearly see Teresa has two more pencils, right? Look at that. Teresa has two more. She has two more, okay? So Teresa has two more pencils than Elena, okay? See how I figured that out? Now you could also do what Miss Wolf said before. You could take five and three, five take away three also equals two, okay? I just want you to remember when you see phrases like how many more, you know that usually more often than not you're subtracting. Okay, finding the difference between, right? How many pencils do the four children have? Holy cow, well then, guess what? What, is, what does that mean? That means we're adding all of them together. Oh my goodness gracious, Miss Wolf's all over the place. Okay, so let's add all of them together. Okay, now look at I have them all right here. I can just add them. Put some plus signs in there. See what I'm doing? Now, I was seeing if I could make a 10. I know I kind of spaced out for a second there, but I was seeing if I could make 10. But no, I do know that eight plus three is 11. Do you see how I did that over here? See over here, I did eight plus three makes 11. So eight, we did eight plus three. And if I know five plus four is nine, we could do 11 plus nine makes 20. So in all, we have 20 pencils, okay? Simple, simple. All righty, here it is again. Wait a minute, pause, back it up. Let's see this, whoops, what in the world? Oh, they just took me to the next problem, that's funny. Okay, use the picture graph to answer the questions. Now it says Christy has seven pencils. 
Okay, so let me get this highlighter going here. It says Christy has seven pencils. Write two sentences to describe how her number of pencils compares to the data in the picture graph. Well, if you remember the other guys, whoops, if each pencil stands for one, right? We got, yes. You know, you guys, I'm a, I'm a hot mess. That's just the bottom line. Three, five, whoa, Nat, Miss Wolf. Five, four, eight. Now, she has seven, okay? So we have to write two sentences about how she compares in the picture graph, how she would match up, okay? She doesn't have the most, but she doesn't have the least. So you know what we could say is, oh my gosh, I was just trying to pick a different color. What we could say is, Christy, has the same, this, look where I'm going with this, number of pencils as John and Elena combined, right? If we add John's number of pencils to Elena's, that makes the number of pencils Christy has, right? So we're gonna write John and Elena combined. And then what we could say for the second sentence is Christy has one less pencil than who? Brad. Right? So I know I wrote kind of sloppy, but you guys know what I meant, right? So now if we're thinking about adding our own information to the graph with Christy, those are two ways to do it. You could also say, you know what? You could say, Christy has two more pencils than Teresa. Christy has four more pencils than Elena. Brad has one more pencil than Christy, right? So if you're using the graph to talk about Christy now, as long as you're using her number of pencils in the sentence, we should be good to go, okay? Look for that on your go math today, okay? All right, so this says, oh, balloons, sweet. Oh my gosh, they're no fun, you guys. I really was hoping they would give us another number to work with. Each balloon stands for one again. Why aren't they changing the number to trick us? I wanna be tricked. No, I want to prove that we won't be tricked. That's what I want. So how many children chose the color blue or chose the color green? So blue or green. So we would combine blue and green together, okay? So we're gonna combine these two. We got four, and then we got blue, which is five. And then if you add them up, that would make nine, right? So nine children chose either blue or green. That was pretty simple. Now it says, which three colors were chosen for 13? So now we need to make a combination. There's three, not all of them. If you added all of them together, you would get more than 13, okay? So you have to pick three colors that would add up to 13. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my strategy on the side. I'm gonna write them four, five, seven, and four. Now we need to figure out which combination. Well, you know what? I know five and seven make 12 plus four more makes more than 13 rats. I know 
7 plus 4 make 11, but then plus 4 makes like 15. Darn it. So I have to start low. 4. Well, 5 plus 4 makes 9. Okay. If 5 plus 4 makes 9. Okay. 10, 11, 12, 13. I would need plus 4. So if I add the other 4, plus 4 equals 13. So I needed this guy, this guy, and this guy. So we need green, blue, and purple. That would be our answer. Green, blue, and plus sign purple. Notice how people add a plus sign when they use and as, like if they're writing and they don't want to write out the word and in their writing, they put like a plus sign or an and symbol. And then in math, when you see and, you know you combine those two numbers. Get out. Okay. Here we go. We're almost done. You know I like these to see if they got it wrong or not, right? Because there was the one time. We'll get there someday. We'll figure out which one it was. When we spotted something that was incorrect. <clears throat> Use the picture graph. How many pets do three, do the three children have? Oh my gosh, you guys, this bothers me. The key, how boring. Each one stands for one. Come on, man. Well, three plus one plus two. If you count all those diamonds by one, you should get six, okay? So I labeled differently, but you know what? I, I don't know why I made it more complicated for myself. I should have just labeled it like we were used to in math. Um, I think I wrote day two, share and show. But you do have more assignments today because it's graphing and these questions were pretty simple, okay? So I have another video for the day two share and show. It was day two share and show and homework for this video that go along with this one. The next video, I will be explaining day two share and show and homework, but guess what? On the sides in parentheses, I put the second assignment, okay? But that's not this video. You have to watch the next video and follow along. I have two assignments today because it's pretty simple stuff, right? Once you get the hang of it, you're basically reading a graph, answering questions about it. So the next video is a lot of answering questions about graphing, okay? About picture graphs. So you can work on this one, the share and show and homework, and then pause and come back to the video and watch it again if you want. Not this one, but the next one. Or you can just watch them both and understand what to do and then you can go at it, right? It's up to you, right? So take your time. There's more assignments for day two, okay? Later dudes and dudettes. Miss Wolf loves you. <laughs>